you know, the purpose, as you mentioned, of biosimilars is to create uh, lower cost and increased access to, you know, these, you know, very effective but expensive drugs like Lucentis and Ilea. A, the paradox is that a company, uh, Avastin, which has already been shown to be safe and effective, is low cost because it's, used, it's repackaged off label. Um, and so a company is coming out with a Avastin biosimilar that would be approved for ophthalmic use. So for macular degeneration, diabetic macular, de macular edema, diabetic retinopathy, you know, et cetera. And so the concern is based on an FDA policy, um, which is the, the drug part of the Drug Quality and Security Act, that um, for safety reasons, the FDA does not allow uh, compounding of a basically a copy of an approved drug. And, you know, there's many reasons for that, uh, for safety concerns. However, this is a strange, uh, in a paradoxical situation, not to that biosimilars are bad, but in this case, um, Avastin has already been shown to be safe and is low cost at being repackaged. So based on this policy from the FDA, our research hopes to highlight and point out uh, the need for an exemption um, so that patients don't lose access to a low-cost um, option, a, a vast and repackaged, and now have to pay you know, 10 times the price or more, depending on whatever the company sets for the new uh, FDA-approved um, you know, ophthalmic bevacizumab. Exactly. And I think that's where that's the whole purpose of the research is to try to um, in, to one, bring attention to it and uh, help further uh, engage efforts by the American by the American Society of Retina Specialists, American Academy of Ophthalmology to make sure that there is an exemption and uh, to allow for um, for allow for low cost repackaged Avastin. And then another thing that's a concern is, although sure, that is the letter of the law. But I think that the without explicit sort of protection, many of these comp from from the FDA, these compounding pharmacies uh, may be concerned and may not want to take the risk because one, this is only a small part of their business. And then another aspect is we already kind of see a similar precedent where the oncologic version of ILEA, Zivaflibercept, has been shown to be safe and effective in the eye. Um, and, however, you can't get Zivaflibercept repackaged in the United States. Um, because of this law. So at a conservative estimate, meaning the, you know, our, the lowest of our calculations, the cost to Medicare would increase. So even if, um, so if all the Avastin had to be now this biosimilar bevacizumab, um, the there would be an increase of 457 million um, in costs and for to the system and then patient responsibility would increase by 117 million based on the current usage, which is a conservative estimate because we know that the um, the amount of injection uh, you know tend to be increasing over time uh, as more and more people age, more and more people have diabetes, et cetera. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention that, so at the current prices, so if all, even if all of the um, Lucentis were switched to a biosimilars, which do exist, and even if all of uh, the ILEA, less, uh, although a biosimilar is not out yet, even if all of that did switch to a similarly priced um, biosimilar to the Lucentis biosimilar, based on the current prices, um, that would only compensate for uh, about 30% of the increased cost. Uh, that would occur from all of the Avastin having to be there. So, you know, this is really, and, you know, and of course that's theoretical, right? All of the Lucentis and all of the Ilea won't switch to biosimilar. But even if that happened based on the current biosimilar prices, um, the, the, that would only compensate for less than a third of the increased cost to the system and to, and to the patients indirectly uh, via premiums or, or um, patient responsibility uh, for that increased cost. Well, well, I you know I can't speak officially for any organization, but there's definitely concern from um, members I know and 
uh, in both organizations for for the access issue to patients. But I, I can't speak uh, on behalf of any organization officially.